How's it going folks? I hope we're all keeping well and you're very welcome to today's uh, geography lesson on coastal landscapes where we're going to look at coastal landscapes of deposition. Okay, so coastal features of deposition. So yesterday we looked at features of erosion. So we looked in detail at the formation of a cliff and we looked at things like notches, caves, sea arches, sea stacks, sea stumps. Today we're going to look in detail at the formation of a beach and then we're going to look at some other small quick features that we have to be able to recognize as well. Okay, so a beach guys is really really straightforward okay so how is a beach made a beach is made by our constructive waves okay so our constructive waves waves that have got a quite a strong swash but um quite a weak backwash okay so this the, the, the strong swash carries material onto the coast and the weak backwash means the, the the wave is not strong enough to carry the material back out so it drops the material here okay very very straightforward so um, first of all, our definition for a beach. A beach is an area of accumulated sand, stone, or gravel deposited along the shore by the action of waves and tides. Okay, so again, very straightforward. An accumulation of sand, gravel, stone, whatever it may be, on your coastline. Okay, how did it get here? It was transported here by waves. Very, very straightforward. So, uh, number one, when waves break, okay, so when the swash hits the shore, the swash carries the load, okay, so, and when I, when I say load, what do I mean? I mean things like sand and shingle and little pebbles, okay? Um, this load is deposited as the water soaks and meets the sand, okay? So what happens, guys, is the wave hits the shore and uh, the stuff that the wave carries gets dropped or deposited here, okay? Now, we know when a wave hits the shore, that's called a swash. What about the backwash? Well, the backwash for these uh, constructive waves is weak. So the weak backwash can only carry finer material down the shore. Okay, when I say finer material, I mean smaller material like sand. Okay, that's why when you go to a beach, up here towards the back of the beach, you'll find the bigger rocks and pebbles because these are dropped by the waves and then the waves don't, doesn't, they do not have the, I suppose, energy to carry these stones back back out to sea here so they get dropped up here okay the heavier sediment okay and then this the finer material gets dropped here okay so over time this process so this process of the swash hits the beach the swash slows down as the as the backwash retreats back out it does not have the energy to so it drops its load, it drops its sand, its shingle, and its pebbles onto the beach. The heavier material gets dropped up here, and the lighter material gets dropped down here. Okay, so over time, material builds up to form a beach. Finer material is found on the foreshore. So the foreshore is the area closer to the water, and the coarser material, the heavier rocks and stuff, are, very, uh, are found at the backshore. Again, why are heavier rocks and things dropped here because think about it the wave comes in stops okay and the wave does not have the energy to carry its heavier load so it's rocks and pebbles so they get dropped here and then as the, the wave slowly retreats back out it'll pro it'll start to drop other things like finer sand and shingle here okay a, a storm beach forms during stormy weather. Okay, what's a storm beach? A storm beach, guys, is basically a beach of basically all pebbles, okay? And Bray in County Wicklow is a good example of a storm beach, okay? So, uh, formed during a lot of stormy weather. Waves are more powerful and bigger rocks and boulders uh, can get can get brought up, okay? So, these get brought up above the normal high tide mark. Here's a high tide mark here. So, this, this mark is basically, guys, the water, water level when the tide is completely in, okay? And again, these these bigger rocks and boulders do they get carried back into the sea no because the backwash remember guys it's a constructive wave doing this a constructive wave has a, str a strong enough swash and a weak backwash and the backwash is weak meaning that it cannot carry this material back into the sea so it gets dropped up here at the f at the uh, back shore okay at the back of the beach okay so Folks, your task now for this is our deep D. So define what a beach is, explain how it's formed, uh, give an example, your processes, what are your processes, so things like your, your swash, your backwash, and deposition. Don't forget to explain what those are. And your diagram as well. So this is your beach diagram here. This is an example here, guys, of a lovely beach. So that, of course, is not Ireland. and um, That looks like a beach maybe you might find in a place like Thailand, for example. But um, again, lots of, lots of, this is, here at the, at the foreshore close to the water is where you find a really fine small sand now if you walk if you walk in towards um if you walk inland a bit what you'll find is heavier rocks and pebbles and things like that okay 
Now, folks, so it's important that we know in detail how exactly how exactly how a beach is formed. Uh, that's our feature of coastal deposition, just like it is uh, important that we know our feature of coastal erosion from yesterday, which is our cliff. Now, we also need to be able to identify some other coastal landscapes, okay? Uh, and these, again, are coastal landscapes of deposition. So, things that were formed because the water dropped or deposited sand and shingle, okay? And I've got two of them here in front of us. So, we need to be able to spot what this is a tombolo. Okay, a tombolo, guys, is really, really simple. So, a tombolo is basically a ridge of sand connecting the mainland here to an offshore island. Okay, very, very straightforward. So what happens is the waves come in here and meet and they deposit sand and they start to deposit sand and eventually this builds up to form like a sandbar and when that sandbar meets the offshore island, it's called a tombolo. Okay, so your tombolo is your, your natural ridge and bridge of sand connecting the mainland here on the left to our offshore island on the right. Okay, so, uh, so a, a really cool example of a tombolo in Ireland is Sutton. Okay, so if you look at a map here in the middle, guys, um, any has ever been to Holt, Holt is a really nice uh, little seaside town with a really nice kind of cliff walk on it, okay? And Sutton used to be an island, okay? Sutton used to be its own island thousands of uh, years ago, but it, Sutton was joined to the mainland by a tombolo, and, and that tombolo is Sutton Tombolo. Apologies there, guys. I meant to say Holt. Holt used to be an island, and Holt was joined to the mainland by Sutton. So Sutton is a, is a tombolo. The, the, the town of Sutton is on a tombolo that used to not be there. Okay, But again, what happened, because of deposition, a tombolo made its way out and eventually joined up with Holt. Okay, and this tombolo was named Sutton, and as you uh, that, that Sutton now is a town. Okay. Um, second example of a feature that we must recognize of coastal deposition is a sand spit and the lagoon okay and this is it here guys so a sand spit basically is a bar that is a uh, of of depth of sand that's been deposited that's covering uh, a bay okay so guys this this is a bay here a little kind of inlet uh, in our land and what happens is is as the longshore drift look up here the direction of longshore drift it carries and deposits sand this direction eventually forming a little sand bar out in front of our lagoon okay and this is um this this is where the term sand spit and lagoon comes from okay so there's a lagoon and that's our sand spit or sometimes it's called a sand bar okay and our example of a sand uh, sand space and lagoon in Ireland is the inch strand in Dingle County Kerry okay here's a really good picture of a sand spit here so as you can see guys the beach is making its way out here and in behind it is our lagoon okay this is our little lagoon our little inlet that's um, here if, what, what do you think will eventually happen here guys so the sand spit will continue to grow and eventually make its way across here okay across the whole way here all right now our final feature uh, that we must be able to identify and just recognize is our sand dune okay really simple guys our sand dune is our is our basically hill or ridge of sand inland on the beach okay very very straightforward for example uh, there's sand dunes on betty's town beach in county Meath. okay very very simple and straightforward folks um, your homework your task for today is to uh, again as you've already said use your deep d define explain example processes and diagram of beach formation and then you must draw and label the diagrams in slide two and three and give their examples as well so i want your tombolo your spit and lagoon as well as your sand dune into your copies with examples okay thanks very much for watching folks